Early voting starts across Central Texas and it runs from now until March 1st. And when you look at the ballot, let's be honest, it can be a little overwhelming, but we are here to help you break down some of the biggest races. So let's start off with Bell County. The race for sheriff includes William Koch, Frank Hernandez and Fred Harris. They are all Republicans, by the way. And if you live in Brazos County, I want you to stop what you're doing if you can and take a good look here at your screen. These are the candidates for district attorney. And in McLennan County, one of the most contested races is for county sheriff. It is between incumbent Parnell McNamara and Jeff Aguirre. Now to the next big thing. What do you need to know before you go out and vote? You know, actually head out to the polls. Well, you do need a valid form of ID. Now that can range from a Texas driver's license to a Texas ID to an ID to a Texas handgun license issued by DPS, a military ID card with a picture, a U.S. citizenship certificate, or a passport. And if you don't have any acceptable form of ID, do not worry, we got your back. You can also bring in a current utility bill, a bank statement, a government check, or a paycheck with your address. If you are sending in an absentee or a mail-in ballot, that deadline is February 23rd. Keep that in mind. That is a Friday, by the way. It does have to be postmarked by March 5th, though, and it has to be received by March 6th to be accepted. Meanwhile, to vote absentee, you do have to be 65 years or older, sick or disabled. Show proof that you are going to be out of the county on Election Day or if you are expected to give birth within three weeks before Election Day. Now, if you need to check on your voter registration, you can do so by heading to KCENTV.com. We have a full rundown of what you are expected to vote um, for your specific county.